There are some pretty big changes coming to the iPhone 14 lineup, specifically with the Pro models and the display. We could be getting a lot more display with Apple potentially removing the notch in favor of a camera cutout and a little pill-shaped cutout for the Face ID sensors. Now, before we get started, be sure to check out the new Mac Rumors Show podcast if you haven't already. We actually go more in depth on this exact topic and some other rumors and news for the week in our latest episode. And so you can check that out by visiting the link in the description down below. Or if you wanna watch the video version, you can click the card up here in the upper right corner. Earlier this week, new reports claimed that the iPhone 14 Pro models will feature both hole punch and pill-shaped cutouts that replace the notch. If this design proves to be accurate, it rules out Face ID fully underneath the display for at least one more year. The report mentioned that infrared camera built into the iPhone for Face ID will not be moved underneath the display until at least 2023 or maybe even 2024, suggesting that Face ID fully underneath the display is just not going to happen until at least the iPhone 15 Pro that should be coming next year. Now, speaking of hiding underneath that display, Apple apparently tried out a version of Touch ID underneath the display for iPhone 13 models, but ultimately decided to not move forward with that fingerprint sensor setup. But some reports indicate that this could be reserved for next year's iPhone 15, so that could perhaps support under display fingerprint sensors, as well as the previously mentioned Face ID tech that could be moving underneath that display as well. Another research note that has recently surfaced pointed to some other changes coming to all iPhone 14 models, like the inclusion of ProMotion 120 hertz displays that we currently already have in iPhone 13 Pro models, but just now being expanded to the entire lineup. The report also noted that a bump up in RAM to six gigabytes could be coming as well. As of right now, the iPhone 13 mini and iPhone 13 have uh, four gigabytes of RAM while the Pro models have six. So this could just be all models moving towards that six gigabytes of RAM. Now, there also could be some lineup changes as Apple is planning to go with two 6.1 and two 6.7 inch iPhone 14 models. So you'll have the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Max, and then an iPhone 14 Pro and an iPhone 14 Pro Max, all with six gigabytes of RAM and all with 120 Hertz ProMotion displays. Another big expected change is that the iPhone 14 Pro models are expected to be equipped with a triple lens camera system that will feature an upgraded 48 megapixel wide angle lens and then the two 12 megapixel ultra wide and telephoto lenses. The 48 megapixel sensor is expected to support 8K video recording too. So to recap, we have this new eye style or pill shape and circular cutout over the notch for next year, possibly, at least for the iPhone 14 Pro models, 120 hertz for all models, as well as six gigabytes of RAM, and that new 48 megapixel wide angle lens for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. Now, personally, I'm a bit torn on the eye-shaped cutout. I think if Apple just wants to do another year of the notch and then go right to the complete removal of the notch in favor of some huge technological advancement that allows them to completely hide the sensors underneath the display, then that may make a bigger splash in my opinion, but I suppose that this new cutout would be better than the notch, at least in terms of overall look and design. Now, I personally have never found the notch to be that intrusive or really just anything that bothers me at all, but it still remains a polarizing design choice and people love to give their opinions on whether they hate it or love it. And I'm curious to know your thoughts on this new potential cutout with the whole eye-shaped pill for the sensors and then the camera cutout just gets a regular circle kind of forming that eye. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.